You are watching Ubuntu Boot Camp Part 6. In this episode, we are going to cover things that you should do after installing Ubuntu, and we're going to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, I know it's been a while since I've done a video in this series. I really do apologize for that, but I really did want to do a comprehensive how-to on Ubuntu. And so let's go ahead and uh, get this series finished for you guys. Okay, if you look over here on the screen, you will see that I have Ubuntu set up and this is the exact same installation I did when I... Uh, did this series. I kept it archived so I could come back to this. And the first thing we're going to do is actually update the system. So let's go ahead and do that. You can just press on the uh, Unity Home and then uh, type in Update and that will pull up the Update Manager for us. And since I haven't done anything with this install, you'll see that we have a ton of updates. We have 430 of them. Wow! All right, so 372.9 megabytes will be downloaded. Let's go ahead and get these updates installed. Now, for those of you who want to know how to do this in the terminal, it's relatively easy. I'm going to go ahead and uh, type in that I want the terminal. And the command is this, sudo apt get update and then two and signs and then sudo apt get upgrade. And when you press enter, it'll prompt you for your password. And then it's going to tell me it doesn't have lock because I'm running this graphically. But this is great for those of you who want to know how to do this from the terminal. Once updates are completed, you'll get a message stating that you need to reboot the computer, and rightly so. You just got a kernel update. So let's go ahead and restart the computer, and then we can proceed to the next step. I don't know about you. But when I install an operating system, I want to be able to watch videos. So let's go ahead and get restricted extras installed. And you just open up the Ubuntu Software Center. That icon is right here. And we'll type in restricted extras. Okay, and we'll check this and select to install. Alright, and it's going to remove some items and put some new items in to replace those. Give that your password and then we're ready to rumble. You may get a prompt appearing asking if you um, accept the licensing terms for core fonts. I guess that's a dependency of it, and so we might as well uh, install these. Probably for subtitles, that sort of thing that you may have in your videos, so you're going to need some fonts to be able to view those. So we'll let that continue. Optionally, we can install the VLC Media Player. This will pretty much run anything. So we'll go ahead and install that. Once VLC is installed, the next thing we'll want to do is be able to play DVDs on our system and also be able to read uh, dual layer disks. And to do this, we need to enable the Metabuntu repositories. Okay, and there's no easy way for me to show you how to do this graphically because it's still going to involve copying and pasting information. 
So I figured I'll just show you the easiest way that I know of, and that is by using the terminal. So let's open up our dash and pull out the terminal. And then we are going to copy and paste this line into it. Now, uh, this is going to be in the show notes. And basically what this is doing, it is getting the security key and it is writing information to our sources list so we can get files from this repository. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter. It asks for the password. Once that is completed, now this next line, sudo apt-get install libdbdcss2 will let us open those DVDs. Okay, we've got that done. So now we can pretty much watch anything on this system. But you're not going to be able to watch much if your graphics drivers aren't behaving properly. And uh, But the thing is, if the system is behaving okay, and you are uh, getting some uh, accelerated effects, transparency and such like this, then odds are you probably don't need to install any additional drivers. But the thing is, later on, maybe you might want to do some gaming, maybe download some uh, programs from Steam, or even purchase uh, a nice game from the Ubuntu Software Center. You're going to need an updated driver. So let's have a look. And we'll just uh, go into our lens here, and we're just going to type in drivers. Okay, and we'll look at additional drivers. Now, obviously, I'm running in the virtual machine, so it's probably going to tell me that the only um, driver that I have activated is the VirtualBox graphics driver, which I had to install so I could be able to do these demonstrations for you guys. Okay, and it looks like this is the only one. And it's saying that it is not activated on the system, but be assured that it is. I just installed it outside of this source. But the thing is, if you are using any, if, if you want to have proprietary drivers, I have a video on my channel. For those of you who are using ATI cards, you can try that driver, or you can try using the additional drivers program program here to install that. That is the recommended way to do it. But if you want the latest from uh, the manufacturer's website, that is the place you will go. All right, I think that'll wrap it up for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to start doing some customizations. Mm -hmm.